click the link to support the channel. I was just for title. John Malin is right, Mike Miller is stubborn, EVS is fat, and Cecil is love. Pride is a sin. Uh, and I hope I don't offend anyone with this. Um, don't be offended. Now that Mark Wade and Renfamous and the other anti-Comicsgate crowd has died down, Comicsgate has decided to fight each other. Because why not? It's not as if we're all adults here. Well, we are all adults, but we aren't all mature adults. Let me say something a bit odd. I agree with EVS and John Malin in the sense that I think that they do want what is in Mike's best interest. They really do want to help him, and Mike is very, very stubborn. Like, as stubborn as a dead mule. But I also think that he was absolutely right about the Pride is a Sin tweet. When Ethan was spurging out about Nurkish's discord, I can understand where he was coming from. You have to know what issues to be flexible on. Discord is cancer. Pure, unalterated, edgy boys trying to outdo each other. By calling each other N-bombs and making World War II references. It's just people trying to top each other. Nurkish probably should have just nuked the discord and moved on. Everything's about compromise, but... Virtue signaling over pride is a sin is a bridge too far. That is part of Mike's sincerely held religious belief. And it's a belief that many people in Comicsgate agree with. And it's just not that big a deal. Oh, this is uh, Kelsey Shannon and Chuck Dixon's Jungle Comics. And it is fan-freaking-tastic. This is one of those weird uh, hits that is a sleeper hit because it's really, really good. And I feel like not, not many people know about it. I, why this doesn't get more public? Well, more on that later. More on Jungle Comics and Kelsey Shannon and Chuck Dixon. Wow, those guys are a phenomenal team together. Uh, anyway, so now the hi hypocrisy is also an issue. When you have uh, EVS making homophobic comments, uh, well, it seems like there are different rules for different people. Memeing dildos as gay uh, rape threats is okay, but saying pride is a sin is offensive. How? It's literally a part of his religion. It's just not worth getting your panties in a twist over. If you want to censor that, I just can't get behind it. Especially because it wasn't a big deal. But Ethan made it a big deal just so he could get outrage super chats, I think. It's hard to tell with EVS what his motivation is, because I am pretty sure that EVS is crazy. Like, no hyperbole, he is a crazy person. But that doesn't mean that he still doesn't care about Mike. EVS is thinking purely in terms of commercial success. But Mike is coming from a religious perspective. Mike is trying to express his religious beliefs, and most people in Comicsgate probably agree with him. EVS is trying to virtue signal to the LGBT crowd, but that's such a tiny percentage of people out there. I mean, there are a hundred times more uh, Christians in Comicsgate. But I see it, not, not that you should go out of your way to offend the the gay people at all, but I just don't think that pride is a sin is, is offensive. But I see where EVS is coming from, and I sort of agree with him in the sense that if I was in the public sphere selling a product, I would not have tweeted pride is a sin. I wouldn't have a Twitter at all. In sales, you never want to limit your audience, but probably from Mike's perspective, he is sharing his religion with a potential audience, and I get that. Um, so they may, they may hear that, and they may want to learn more about where Mike is coming from, and all that God stuff. I'm assuming that the pride thing is in his book somewhere. I have no idea. But now that I think about it, 99% of the LGBT people aren't religious anyway. They don't believe in gods and sin or salvation or any of that kind of stuff. So calling them sinners shouldn't matter to them at all. Telling someone who's an atheist that they're going to go burn in hellfire, it doesn't hurt their feelings. They just don't care. EVS should have just ignored it and moved on. But YouTube is a fickle beast. It must be fed to keep its fires stoked. YouTubers can get addicted to the dopamine that comes with eyeballs. They want that hit over and over again. So they keep doing outrage videos. Someone said I needed to upgrade my setup. How dare they? How dare they? You mean a $40 Kindle piled up on a bunch of socks isn't a professional YouTuber setup? Someone did just give me a computer monitor and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I have computers, but I have computers for other things. I didn't want to mix. I didn't want to mix. Uh, you know what I mean? If I did live streams. So um, I do have a computer here. I'm going to get it set up and I'll, I'll, do, I'll use OBS and I'll get a more professional setup. Anyway, um, 
It's okay for YouTube channels to go through natural cycles, according to external forces. Channels don't need to be outraged all the time. You can slow things down and let events unfold naturally. They're tempted to go from outrage to outrage because of super chats. They can make hundreds of dollars per hour to fight on YouTube. And when the fighting goes away, so do the super chats. So they have to keep looking for outrage. And if it's not there, they'll just manufacture it. EVS had a disagreement with a bunch of his old friends. Fine, just go your own way peacefully. But EVS continues to talk about his old friends nonstop. Just move on. Talk about Rose McGowan or something. If you follow Alyssa Milano on Twitter, you will never run out of cringe to talk about. All that being said, I'd like to see them forgive and forget. And either part ways peacefully or join forces again for the good of Comicsgate. Let's put things in perspective here. Nobody murdered anyone. They didn't bang each other's wives. EVS is just controlling and Mike is just stubborn. Really, really stubborn. They both made mistakes. Put it behind them. Start doing a weekly show together. Look for the similarities, not the differences. The audience, when they teamed up, the audience is so much stronger. And the feeling, the vibe is just entirely different when, when Comics Gate was united. You guys aren't at war with each other. You're just both fat old men acting like cranky bitches who need their diaper change. I hope, I hope they didn't hear that. Uh, the drawn and quartered thing, it sounds like Malin was helping the show by bringing in an audience. I assume that John's rising tide was lifting all boats. Who cares if Malin was winning every week? He's a great artist. All the artists on drawn and quartered are great. It doesn't matter who wins. What matters is growing your audience on YouTube and selling your art and comic books. A show like drawn and quartered needs a wise ass like Malin on it to liven things up. I respect that Mike has a different perspective on things because he's super, super religious. But he doesn't understand how YouTube works. Which is weird because he is Asian and those guys are all about computers. With YouTube, numbers attract numbers. I like Mike, but the most insane thing I ever heard was when he said, If you only followed me because of EVS, please unsub. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? That isn't how YouTube works. That isn't how the algorithm works. Mike must be the only Asian guy bad at math. This isn't a purity test. It doesn't matter if you're growing a commercial business or if your business is preaching. You need to have an audience to reach an audience. He keeps saying that money isn't everything. Fine. But the more people in your audience, the more people you can reach with your religion. Even an a-hole like me has started to listen to some of his cross-examinations. So Mike is dead wrong about that, but he is way too stubborn to admit it. Even is pride is a sin. Is stubbornness a sin too? Uh, even when his mods ban war campaign trolls in the chat, that's probably a mistake. People like a little back and forth. The trolls in the chat are helping you, not hurting you. If someone subs just to insult you, that is still interaction that helps your numbers. EVS understands this very well. Now, I get the goal of the drawing show is to sell the art, but the more people you have in the audience, the more YouTube recommends the show, the more people will come in to bid in the auction. John Malin and his Wolf Mel crew is probably making everybody more money. I heard Malin last night. He was pissed, but I could also hear the emotion in his voice. He cares about Mike and his family. Maybe you can call EVS an ass, and he is, and so am I, and so is most people. But John Malin is not. John was helping you. A drawing stream needs people like John, Cecil. It either needs a comedian or an asshole like Nurkish. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of autistic guys drawing. You say your goal is to make your artist friends money. Then have John, Cecil, EVS, or any of the other kind of spicy guys come on and liven things up a bit. Comicsgate needs everyone. Uh, Edwin, Tug, Yellow Flash, Nasser, Nurkish, uh, Antonio Bryce, even... Uh, kind of people on the outskirts like Mecha Random 42 and the Geeks and Gamers and Mary Mayhem and um, whoever else is kind of loosely associated with Comics Gate. Everybody brings something different to the table. Even Nasser. Ah, Nasser. People don't want an echo chamber. When Zack and that Star Wars girl team up, it is really good. Because Zack interrupts non-stop and Anna hates it. That little bit of tension is very funny. You can't fake that kind of chemistry. It is 
that is that is just golden when it happens. It is it's hysterical to to, to watch this this nice Star Wars girl get more and more pissed off when Zack is interrupting EVS and all the other guys. But Zack's interruption makes for a good show, and Anna getting pissed makes for an even better show. When you have Cecil and Doug Tenevel on a stream together, it is freaking awesome. Because Cecil cannot stand Dirty Doug. And legitimately, Doug's kind of a weirdo. I mean, he's, he's a great artist and all that, but, you know, he's kind of kind of out there <laughs> wash your hands Doug uh, that kind of stuff yeah, that kind of stuff you got to combine people in these different it's just all chemistry mixing people together Zach went on Mecha Random show the other day and they had great chemistry together uh, you got to you got to mix in all these people who get their noses bent out of shape and then come back and leave and come back and you can't just have an echo chamber the best streams I don't know where last year when you had you had any, everyone you had Ben Hennessy and everybody you had like two dozen people in Comicsgate who was just rotating through these streams and everyone they, everyone didn't get along but everyone was making the effort to build uh, a new business model the Comicsgate business model uh, bring back Nurkish Tim Lim a little spice makes for better content anyway this is um. Jungle Comics, Kelsey Shannon, Chuck Dixon. It's fan freaking tastic. I don't think anyone knows about it. And um it's just it's a shame this kind of stuff is not getting promoted. It's a shame we're not all getting along like reasonable adults who can uh disagree without being disagreeable and not just be you know, I hate that phrase when the SGW just call people man babies and all that kind of thing, but you know, if the diaper fits, sometimes you just gonna have to wear it. Anyway, these guys, uh, he can draw, and uh, Chuck Dixon can really write, so I, I don't know why we're not... If we spent less time fighting, maybe we could spend more time uh, getting these books in the hands of people. Because a lot of people, they just don't know about this kind of stuff. You know, I mean, a few dozen people will see this video, and I'm doing I'm doing what I can to, to show this. This is great. This is like in the style of uh, Henry Ryder Haggard, the guy who wrote the... Uh, he kind of, he wrote these, he wrote hundreds of books that Indiana Jones was kind of based on. This adventurer who was a big game hunter in Africa. Uh, very, very exciting. He, you know, going the diamonds and the queen of Sheba's and different tribes were fighting with each other. It was, it was awesome. Uh, anyway, uh, you want to click the link, support the channel, check out Chuck Dixon. Kelsey Shannon has his, uh, Kelsey Shannon is part, was part of the Jack Show. I don't know if he's still on there or not, but he's a very funny guy and he makes amazing videos. And I'm not just, I'm not just saying that. The dude really has a talent for editing. Very, very funny stuff. He teams up with, uh, Cecil, the Star Wars girl, and, um, who, isn't there one more? Cecil? Kelsey, that Star Wars girl. Who's that? Am I missing someone? I think I am missing someone. Jack, Jack, Jack. John Malin? Oh, John Malin, right, sorry. Anyway, uh, so I hope this video didn't offend anyone, and um, if it did, just, you know, I'm just some idiot on YouTube, you don't have to uh, pay attention to me. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I will see you all next episode.